Hey gang, Chris Cards back through the mail Monday once again. Hope everyone's having a great day. Let's just jump right into it. Our first return from Tampa, Florida. We have, oh, we've got Josh Fogg flying out of the envelope here. Too hot to handle. Way too hot to handle. Josh Fogg had a nice little nine-year career. Played mostly with the Colorado Rockies and the Pittsburgh Pirates. I think he had a cup of coffee with the Cincinnati Reds. Won more than 10 games five times in his career. Not bad. Pretty good ratio. Five, nine years and uh, five times with more than 10 games. Had pretty high ERA in Colorado, as most people did back then. And these cards came out really nice. Josh Fogg is a pretty cool guy. Very generous with his time as far as signing is concerned. There's a nice heritage. Black kind of ran into the logo there a little bit. Doesn't look that great, but... Um, not complaining. Looks good nonetheless. Good enough for me. Chris Cards is uh, easy to please. Josh, you can find on Twitter. He does not have a blue check mark, so maybe it's not really Josh Fogg. Maybe it's a fake Josh Fogg Twitter account, but it sounds like him from his tweets. So, pretty interesting stories he usually tells on his Twitter page if you want to give him a shout out. Thank you very much, Josh Fogg. That's how you get a hold of him. And um, thank you very much. On to the next. This one hails from 10IC. There's Grover looking at us. That's not Grover, but it's a red Muppet. I'm not sure which one the red Muppet was. Let's tear into this, see who we have as our second return. I've got the gravelly pre-coffee voice going on, and uh, I'm liking it. I'm thinking I'm going to skip coffee and just keep opening up envelopes here. Looks like we got Paul Foytak. And yes, getting really good at reading these uh, signatures. Look at that. He signed the index card very nicely. Paul Foytak played 11 years. Really good pitcher. He just really was a decent pitcher. 11-year career. Um, virtually a 500 record. I think he's one game below 500. Um, very first player ever to give up four consecutive home runs. So that's kind of one of those stats where it's not really indicative of what kind of pitcher he was. But he did give up four straight home runs, which is a first. Normally the pitcher is pooled after giving up, you know, two or three, but he gave up four and he was still in the game. So sign the back of the signature card. That's happened uh, last week or two weeks ago too. So uh, it is what it is. At least he signed some part of the signature card. Maybe I'll send it back to him one day and see if he'll sign the other side for me. There was one other pitcher who gave up four straight home runs and that was uh, 2007. Chase Wright as a Yankee gave up four straight home runs to the Red Sox. So there you have it, Mr. Foytak. Awesome signature for a man that's 89 years young. On to the next. Let's see if I can find out where the cards end. I think we're good right here. Let's rip this open. I believe this is a private signing. And I've got a lot of those these private signings out, so I'm not sure who it's from. Private signing basically means I'm going through a third party to get this guy's autograph, but it's technically through the mail. And it's Ellis Burks. All right, Ellis Burks, an 18-year career, 291 career average, 352 bombs. Let's get this card out of the top loader. I did not send it in the top loader, so it came back in the top loader, so I, I made out on that deal. Free top loader. And um, nice signature there. He uh, had a nice career, like I said, two-time All-Star. Member of the Boston Red Sox Hall of Fame. A very nice um, addition to my 1989 upper deck. He's mostly, of course, known as a Red Sox. But had a pretty good stint with the Colorado Rockies as well. In fact, he was a member of the Blake Street Bombers. That included uh, Andres Galarraga, Bichette, Larry Walker, and Vidi Castilla. Those guys would run roughshod over the league in home runs between uh, 94 and 97. 95, 6, and 7. They actually led the league in home runs that group there did. So... Very cool return from Alice Burks. And our last return of the day comes to us from Phoenix, Arizona. And we have um, Marty Keough. All right, so Marty Keough, who played 11 years in the bigs, mostly with the Boston Red Sox, although he played with a lot of different teams uh, over his 11-year career. Was never a starter. Was a defensive replacement, either infield, outfield, played everywhere. Occasional pinch hitter. Uh, father of Matt. Brother of Joe. 
come from a baseball family. Baseball families are always cool. I think Matt recently passed just a couple months ago, actually, in May. So he outlived his son. That's crappy. But there you go, guys. Signed very nicely. Those vintage cards. And you guys know I love my vintage. And um, there's his address. You guys want to give him a shot. Awesome returns from everyone today. All right, guys, through the mail, Monday, number 78 in the book. 78, that's my birth year. Man, I'm old. Holy cow. Josh Fogg, thank you very much. Paul Foytak, Marty Keogh, and Ellis Burks. Enjoy my 15 bucks. Put it to good use. I hope everyone enjoyed this week's TTMM. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this week's returns. Like the video for no other reason other than, I, I don't know. Every I don't know what likes do. But um, subscribers are cool. Sub if you haven't subbed already. I do this every Monday. I do all sorts of random videos throughout the week. And um, that's it, guys. Hope everyone has a great, fantastic week. Um, I'm sure I got some videos in the pipeline for this week that I will put up. Stay tuned for those. Love y'all. See ya.